G'day guys, it's Ben again here to bring another video. Now this one is going to be looking at one of those wonderful plants for people who are renting or even if you're a homeowner, even if you're one of those people who lives up in a high rise apartment, uh, and that is rhubarb. Rhubarb is a fantastic uh, plant with lots and lots and lots of nutrients, very easy to grow, doesn't require a whole lot of effort and uh, it's so simple. Let's have a look and see how we're doing. So this is rhubarb. Rhubarb grows incredibly easily. I've only got this in a sort of 30 centimeters approximately worth of soil. I did buy a fairly um, high grade uh, premium soil. That said, um, it's incredibly cheap. When you consider it cost me $80 for a cubic meter of soil. And I obviously had to bring that home in, in my trailer and that's no, that's no big deal. But when you can consider the cost of that cubic meter of high value soil versus you know 20 or something bags of um, potting mix from your garden center a bag of potting mix is roughly what $10 each 20 bags that's $200 versus 80 bucks I know exactly which one I'll be paying so um, so there we go very very easy to do if you're looking to know where to buy uh, soil then I would go to a bigger garden center landscape supplies kind of place whatever it might be and, uh, and they'll uh, at least point you in the right direction if they can't help you themselves. Alrighty, so, um, so rhubarb, you get these wonderful great big leaves here which are fantastic. And then you obviously get the stems which are, which are what you're going to use in your cooking. Um, the actual leaves themselves are poisonous so obviously don't eat those and don't feed them to your pets because uh, you're not going to get good results out of that. That said, it's, a, it's such an easy plant to grow. Um, and I'm going to move these simply for space reasons because uh, these couple of plants that I've put in uh, have pretty much taken over this whole square meter section. Uh, so I'm going to move these uh, into a different part of the garden. Um, this is not an ideal place. I only get roughly what um, two, two and a half hours of direct sunlight where I am here. Um, and I want to move them into a place where they're going to get a little bit more benefit from that. Um, you do need to keep them moist. Um, put a bit of liquid sort of organic fertilizers on them uh, every couple of weeks or something like that. That's literally all you need to do. And you'll get um, a year round supply. So as the, winter, uh, as the weather starts to close in and get a, uh, cools down a bit and you want to start making those, uh, you know, apple and rhubarb crumbles or apple, apple and rhubarb pies, that kind of thing, then you've got that sort of ready source. And it's such a great thing to have and grow. Obviously the leaves themselves, you can quite happily put use as compost or whatever it might be. Um, but don't eat them because they're toxic. There we go. All right, very simple plant to grow, guys. Very easy. You can pretty much grow it anywhere. It doesn't need to be, you know, in a, in a sort of special garden or anything like that. It can simply be grown in a, in a tub. Um, and whether that's a high-rise apartment or, you know, whether you put that into a purpose-built garden or something like that. So very easy to do, guys. Great high-yield crop. Lots of, um, lots of nutrition in them. And, uh, and let's go from there. So thank you very much for your time and patience, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Well, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, please feel free to share this video with Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Please leave a comment below. We're looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, keep safe.